wanted to show you where to find some of these options in your calculator. They're under the math menu. If you pull up the math menu over here on the right, you'll notice there's this PRB for probability. So if you scroll over to that, you'll find the three options that we need. There's the factorial option, which we can use for sort of manual entry. And then if you're doing combinations or permutations, there's an NPR for permutations and NCR for combinations. Notice we've been using N and K. Uh, the calculator uses R instead of K, but otherwise it's exactly the same. Um, so say for instance, I wanted to use the permutation formula manually with the factorial. So back here on the main screen, let's say I wanted to do five choose three to use the example we used earlier. So that would be five factorial divided by five minus three factorial. So five factorial divided by two factorial. So I pull up five, go to the math menu, scroll over, and then select number four, divided by two math over here, select number four. So it's a little tedious pulling this up, um, but of course we get the answer pretty quickly. I can also do the same thing with the permutation formula. Now to do this, before I pull up the permutations, I have to start with the five and then pull up NPR and then three. So notice the order here that you put the five first then the NPR in the middle, and then three. So five goes with the N, three goes with the R, and of course you get the same answer here. If you want to do combinations, again, you could do it manually with the formula, or you could do the same thing. And again, you would need to put in your N value first. So let's say we wanted to do 12 choose five, like the example we did earlier. So we do 12, go to the math menu, then select NCR, or three, and then five, and it gives us 792, just like we got for the example earlier. So you can use your calculator for all of these, um, whichever is easiest, whether it's the factorial or the NPR and CR. Um, of course, on the test or even the homework, I'm more interested in the fact that you can set up the questions correctly. Uh, being able to calculate them is sort of nice, but um, not as interesting or as useful as being able to set up the problems. That's usually the hard part.